Hi, I'm Cole. I'm Ryan. And we're with Snow Problem from the University of Minnesota. Uh, we're going to give you a walkthrough of our 2020 robot Hyperion. First, we'd like to thank some of our sponsors, Anymark, University of Minnesota Student Service Fees, and ThriftyBot. All right, so first of all, looking at the front of the robot, we have our intake. What we decided this year is that we wanted to have something very wide that could easily capture a lot of balls. So initially, we wanted the first bar on our robot to be something that could easily grab something. So here we used uh, just a PVC pipe with some grippy tape on it. Uh, the second bar is intended to align the balls into the center so it can funnel into our hopper. So there we're using mechanism wheels on the outside uh, and then two inch compliant wheels on the inside. Our intake actually also serves the purpose of when we are trying to launch balls into the outer goal, we use it to line up against the wall. So both of the sides of the intake are exactly 12 inches long and it perfectly align us up against the wall. Next we'll talk about the hopper mechanism. This mechanism is designed to hold four balls in line toward our shooting mechanism. To transfer the balls from where we intake the ball to the flywheel, we have these two pairs of polycord pulleys that run on either side of the ball, and these draw the balls up through a tube that's formed out of a curved polycarbonate. When the balls reach the top of the tube of the hopper, they're stopped by the shafts of two pistons that come in. And these pistons are to prevent the balls from prematurely entering the shooter, so we can control when we release this. All right, so after the hopper, uh, the robot funnels the ball up into our flywheel, uh, which is what we use to launch the ball into the outer or possibly inner goal. What our intent here was, was that we wanted to have a robot that only shoots from right in front of the goal and it would shoot the same shot every single time. So it would one, be consistent, and two, we wouldn't have to rely on uh, vision processing. The way we have our flywheel set up is it compresses the ball about an inch and a half uh, for the entirety of the path of the ball through the flywheel. The flywheel itself is powered with two 775 motors. Each of them are geared down four to one. The flywheel itself is made with two four inch green compliant wheels that would also comply well with the ball as it launches it through the path of the flywheel. So the first part of our climbing mechanism is a hook delivery system. It's a cascading elevator based on PVC pipes that fit within each other. So we pull on a length of paracord and this extends the nested PVC pipes up to a height well above the, the bar of the climbing goal. At the end of this mechanism, we have a hook that can detach when we retract the, the cascading lift. Um, this hook is wrapped in surgical tubing to be very high friction so it doesn't slide along the bar we're hanging from. And attached to this are two ropes which feed into a winch which is inside of a robot. These ropes pass through eyelets and are wound around this pulley and this climbs our robot. Uh, finally, the last mechanism on our robot is our control panel manipulator. Uh, so on the top front of the robot, we have just a small bag motor connected to a green compliant wheel, which we can pop up and down during the match to approach the control panel and spin it. For this, we had it intended that we'd use driver vision from a camera, uh, and then you'd, your user's intuition choose how many rotations or whatever color would be right. The reason we wanted to make sure that our control panel manipulator could pop up and down was that if we were going to be a cycling robot that could cycle a lot of power cells throughout the match, we wanted to be able to drive underneath the control panel, so we had to make sure we could both be the same height as and smaller than the control panel itself. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below or reach out on social media or Chief Delphi. And have a great season. Two thumbs up. Like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Not just like five stars. Two thumbs up.